What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ken, if you're new around here, this is a channel where we talk about filmmaking, photography, iPad Pro related content and tech. If any of these piques your interest, consider subscribing to the channel if you may learn a thing or two from these videos. Well, this is not the typical setup uh, I would want in a video, but I just want to update you guys about the YouTube studio situation right now. So for the past couple of years, I've been extensively using really really cheap plastic light stands and to be honest, I can't believe that I have well spent three years torturing myself with unreliable and collapsible stands since 2019. I got this cheap plastic light stand for about 60 ringgit a pair. I mainly use it to mount the SL60W main key light from Godox for videography, an off-camera flash with a softbox for photography. And the experience, to be honest, is pretty okay. Just that you have to deal with it being wobbly and that it falls down pretty easily and shakes a little bit. So I finally decided to bite the bullet and went ahead to buy myself a professional C-Stand and today that's what we'll be unboxing and giving you guys my first impression of it. So without wasting any more time, let's dive right in. The reason why we are here is because that obviously the light stand doesn't fit on the table so let's, uh, let's open this thing up. Wait. We have the pole, a ball head, second ball head, here is three of the legs, and the heaviest of all is the center column of the head. That is all. I most probably have to reuse the bag sometime in the future. So we're looking for the right here. Everything looks very snuggish inside bubble wrap, so let's uh, open these things up. We have the ball head, we have another ball head. Alright, so these are the legs. See? This is the heaviest thing of all. So this is the heavy thing. So this should be the top. So what I've seen people do is yeah, open this, open this up one, and open this up another time too. So it actually locks in place, and now we are stable to go. We insert this column down here. Open this bottom part and slide it in. Right, and this is in. So this is actually really, really heavy and solid, I would say. Yeah. You won't believe it when I told you that the audio was totally out of sync. <laughs> it was at sort of like the maximum. I forgot to change it back after adjusting the audio. But anyways, uh, we have the C-Stand up here and that is our main key light. And let me show you guys behind what's here. So as you can see, it's just held on by a very flimsy stand. As you can see, it is already sort of slanted up there. And yeah, we are going to replace this entire setup. And hopefully this thing belongs there. Uh, let's move up some of the things and uh, let's see how we're going to do it. So as you can tell, this is a really, really plastic uh, light stand that I've been using for over two to three years and we're finally switching up to an actual C stand. It's really really heavy and I hope that the bottom of the base actually fits into that tiny corner. <laughs> let's uh let's check it out. Yep so we can actually still fit this at the corner of the table and uh, the light stand should probably go in right here with a really really snug fit in. in. Right, so this is all good. Oh, oh, there's a spring. Nice. Oh, there's two springs. So when it drops, you are safe. <laughs> Alright, so and most probably this will be on the slightly higher side of things. Patch this light stand. Well, the entire setup still works. Um, pretty good. I'm. I think this thing got pretty, like really, 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 really high. So. Uh, but overall, I'm pretty stoked about it now that I don't need to use a dumbbell to hold down the cheap plastic light stand. Power it is on. And we have light. So guys, just to quickly summarize today's video, this is the latest setup here in my YouTube studio. The C-Stand fits in perfectly at the corner of the room, similar to how it was in the previous setup. Other than just holding the light dome right here, remember the long rod with the ball heads. This C-Stand can also be used with the ball heads to adjust different angles of the SL60W. And the coolest part is you are also able to use this as an overhead rig for all of your flat lay shots. 
there are tons of features for me to explore with this C-Stand and I'll be sure to update you guys on all the things that I've learned and all there is to know about the C-Stand sometime in the future. And that is all for today's video. Let me know in the comments below if you guys enjoyed this type of studio setup upgrade and as always, if you have any questions at all, feel free to drop me a comment down below. I'll be sure to get back to you guys as soon as possible. Thank you all so, so much for tuning in. As always, I'll catch you all in the next video. Stay safe, peace out, and bye-bye.